Hey, I'm just saying. You know, I mean, I think what's what's good, Chris? What's good, Chris? <laughs> what's that? Okay, man to man radio, you're live, or man to man TV, you're live. Coming on, coming on with See, the alcohol in your hand, man to man, we're live. Man to man, you're live. <laughs> What's good? What's good, man? What's good? Man, chilling, man. It's a cold day today, man. What's going on out here? Yeah, it is cold. Like, for real. I got a flannel on. Like, you know, I got a flannel on, a hat. I got the heater on. I'm trying to I'm trying to stay warm, man. You see, I still got my jacket on, man. I ain't messing around. Shit, I'm trying to stay warm. That's what's up. So you had a good day? It was one of the most interesting, interesting days, you know, whenever, whenever you yelling at, you know, people at your job, you know, it's never an easy thing, especially if they're in a higher position than you. It's oh, never... wait, you were yelling at your boss? <laughs> See, look, you tried to get me fired. I just said I was yelling at some people that was higher than No, That's you were what... yelling at your boss. Hold I on. Say I was yelling at my boss because they ain't my boss. <laughs> All right, so what happened? You got to tell me what happened, Don. Nah, man, you just got to tell people to do their job, man. That's all it is, man. People people get in positions and they act like they don't know what they're supposed to do. I'm the one that set you straight. I ain't with your bullshit. Get your shit together. Oh, damn. Don't Hey, don't don't come on the show, man. Get your, you losing your job. <laughs> you know? Like I told you, hey, like I told you, they ain't my boss. I heard they, that. They understand where I'm at now. <laughs> <laughs> they understand where you're coming from. You're staying exactly. in front of your desk. You, I would just miss with respect, but you know, you like said, I said, business. You're saying it from your chest, like, look, if I got to warn you one more time, it's about to go down. No, nah, that's that's threats. I can't, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Well, I'm just saying, it's about to go down. You might send a long hey, email. Donald Trump, <laughs> Donald Trump getting people out of here. I ain't threatening nobody. <laughs> man, I heard that, man. I heard that. So, so Chris, tonight, man, I'm excited about this topic because when you when you came up with it, I immediately loved it last week. Like I'm not I'm even. Glad, I immediately love this topic because nobody's talking about it. Nobody's talking about nope. the other side. Mm -hmm. Nobody is talking about what in the hell is going on with all the bullshit that's going on with all the bullshit that's going on. You feel quick, me? Quick, quick to believe it. Quick to believe everything. Everybody's bad at this point. Like I said, two right. mode to be ten mode, twenty mode. So right. So, you know, of course, for people just tuning in, of course, we got to welcome them. Welcome to Man to Man TV. You know, we've been live and everything like that for a few minutes now. So make sure you go share the post. Let your friends know, because tonight we're going to talk about sex lies and the come up. That's what we're going to talk about tonight. Sex talk lies, about the come up. The come up. <laughs> the come up is an important part of the sex. That it is. With, wait, well, I don't know. Hold on. It's an important part with the sex. Look, but do you need to have sex to come up? Hey, they just trying to come up, so they're doing whatever they can to come up. Right, there you go. Do, they they, hey. they use what they got to get what they need to get. All right, but the man going to tell them like this, don't come up too soon. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> take your time, take your time. We're going to be in trouble tonight. <laughs> I wait, hold on. Did you already have a sip or something, man? Cause you look like come on, man, I always have a sip, man. I have a sip every <laughs> Man, look, I almost got in trouble. I went to work. Right. Never mind. <laughs> All right, man. So, you know, of course, we got to thank our sponsors, man. Shades of Africa. Uh, we got to thank them for our sponsor sponsoring us. We got to thank uh, Real World News with our very own, uh, you know, Reggie Kearney. Of course, we got to thank uh, Gina Smith from SPMG Media. What's you up? Know, what's, oh, yeah. What's up? What's up, mom? <laughs> so, so, Chris, let, let's just get it, man. Let's oh, just get oh, it. Man. Like, I'm about to look. I'm about to sit up for this. I'm about to sit up for this. Come on. Usually I'm just chilling in the cut, you know. I lay back, you know. That that's what I do, man. I lay back and I chill. But this 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 conversation got me excited, man. So sex lies in the come up. Right now, Chris, you sent that article to me before the show, right? Right. And mm -hmm. and, and in that article, there was like forty people, at least forty people, right, mm -hmm. of just new accusations of sexual misconduct, sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. uh, all that. I mean, and we'll go down the list of the names. But see, before we go down the list of the names, dog, like, let's keep it all the way real, man. Come on. Out of all those people that were that are accusing some of these celebrities and some of these top executives, I mean, how many of them were groupies? How many of them were exactly, you know, uh, you know, actresses that, you know, felt like they wanted to get in good with a, with a big time producer? OK, you know? talk about it. 
So their homegirl invited them to a party or whatever the case may be. And they were all smiles and everything in front of that top executive or whatever. And he was excited. Like, yeah, they were excited. Like, and they were like, oh, he's feeling me. Oh, and he's like, well, hey, you know, you want to go to my hotel room? I'm at the Beverly Hilton. And she's like, well, yeah, we can go talk. Come on, really? Mm -hmm. Really? Come on, man. And see, that, and my whole thing was, you know, wanting to talk about it tonight because it's like, I think, I think it's a lot of people that really don't get to see or know about the other side, you know, and, right. and I felt like you and I can actually identify with certain situations that we've seen for ourselves to actually right. shed light into the type of stuff that goes down, you know, when you're at certain events, um, you know, yeah. a movie, like, what is it like doing movies, movie um, premiere. music videos, um, yeah, shoot, definitely. what else? I mean, it's, it's a lot. But Studios. Even if those you had Jodeci wrote an album, you know, what the, the show, the after party, the hotel. Why would they even make an album about that and Come stuff on, like man. that? Come on, you know what I mean? And then, yeah. and don't get me wrong, it, it's not to discredit any of these, you know, any real women that have been assaulted or right. hugged or and 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 I don't want any, you know, anyone to feel like ill towards us, you know, on this topic tonight because. <laughs> Come on, you go know, ahead. Go I'm, ahead. I'm gonna let you finish because I feel yeah. I feel some type of way right now. Yeah. Well, I don't want anybody, and it's okay to feel some type of way because I feel some type of way too because I know for a fact some people who do this shit to like literally come up and right. try to change the character of people's names. I mean, I have one of my best friends, man, was mm -hmm. falsely accused of stuff, and you know, two of them falsely accused of stuff. You know, mm -hmm. and it, it, it really was kind of detrimental to their career a little bit, you yeah. know, but but even still, it's like, damn, this is this is just out of hand. Right. You know? And then some people I've personally met and, and don't get me wrong, Chris, I've never been in behind closed doors with like Russell Simmons or anything like that. You right. know, when he's bro, but think about it. This dude has been around fine women his entire life. He that, is, and, he's, and, and see, and that's the thing. And and. And it's He's not to, it's not to try to make that man look innocent or nothing because right. that's you know my right. thing is just understanding certain environments certain situations because my thing is this I've been around different things I had homeboys that did music and kind of and all that sort of stuff and to be honest with you I've known and seen a lot of women that'll get down with anybody in the crew just because this they want to be down they want to be a part of that they want that backstage pass. They want that VIP, you know, and it's, right. and it's things like that to where I don't know if people even understand that sort of stuff. So it's like when these allegations come out about people, it's like people are quick to like want to just believe it. And right. my thing is, let's talk about the other side of it, too, because I was even telling my boy the other day. So it's like, OK, you got a woman that'll basically say, OK, a certain certain situation happened right now. OK, where did it happen? At? Where were you at? Oh, you was in a you was in a car full of dudes. Your clothes. Why? You had you had you had on a short ass dress, and you was like, uh, I mean, I just came just to have a good time. And my thing is, and it's not it's not in because trust me, I know some people have been in, put in bad situations and certain. Oh, definitely. Like definitely. But my thing is this: you also have to take accountability for the type of situations you put yourself in. I know your mama done taught you you should never be hanging out with a bunch of men by yourself. I know right. that. Right. Even if they didn't, I know you've heard certain situations like that. I or know you felt or, uncomfortable when you was around them. Right. Or just the moral compass. Like, you know better. You, you know, right. people know better. You know, it's like, I'm not going to be in a room full of Beyonce's and expect nothing to not happen. Come on now. <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on now. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm being a realist right now. You, say, if you I'm said it, not me. Huh? What'd you say? You said it not me. <laughs> I did say it. Look, and you know what? My wife knows that about me. Like, I'm not gonna lie. If I was in a room full of Beyonce's or Rihanna's, it might be a problem. It might right. be I'm fucking withhold the temptation. It might be a problem. <laughs> I'm just being right. all the way. But you know, some people they they go down this road. Or look at look at the whole. Remember when? Um, remember years ago when mm -hmm. the uh, the whole Bill Cosby thing came out, right? Think about that. Think about that for a split second. This is I no mean, different. It's no different. I, I'm guilty of it. I'm guilty of it, Chris, where when the Bill Cosby thing came out, you know, I followed the bandwagon. I was posting the funny memes and everything like that. Yeah. They were funny as hell. But think about it for a split <laughs> second, dude. He was he was going through a, a pivotal time in his life where right. uh, 
this man who has had a stellar reputation for mm -hmm. his entire career, not decades. even decades or for decades. I mean, mm -hmm. he was he was a lot of young kids, you know, dad between him and Uncle Phil. He was everybody's TV dad, at least in the black community. Right. And yeah. and, and, and here's the thing. Right when he's getting ready to to do to do a huge purchase, I think it was a, of NBC. He was mm -hmm. getting ready to do a purchase. All of a sudden, this is the first black dude getting ready to buy a major network. All of a sudden, out of the woodworks, you have all, all, these, all, all these people, the everybody and their mom. Everybody but my, came. But my question is, why now? And it right. is, and like I said, because I know you're going to have a bunch of people saying, well, you know, that's when they felt comfortable coming out and you can't tell somebody when they say, but my thing is, what were you trying? Because, you know, some people will say, well, oh, I came out because I wanted to make sure it didn't happen to someone else. This right. man, damn near, damn near 80 some years old. They probably Blind didn't what I. So you wasn't stopping him from doing it to somebody else. So my thing is, why now? Right. And there's right. so many people. Right. And he was blind in one eye. Even he was he was old. He was he's done. You right. know, he he's finished with it. Like, low key, I ain't trying to talk death on nobody, but he's done with his life. And then to come Damn. out, <laughs> you know, to come out years later, you know, a couple years later, I know. Right. To come God, out. Couple, I know. Like, you ain't supposed to count a man out when he's still <laughs> That man ain't even in the hospital. You talk about his am near over for <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, Damn. you know, Camille's. On a payday, dog. I'm just saying. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is this, man. Is at the end of the day, you know, this this happened so long ago. Yeah. You know, it comes out now that he's getting ready to purchase something huge. It comes out, and then you know, everybody in the news was talking about it. Mass media was talking about this for months. Right. I mean, for months. But <laughs> but hold on. Here's the thing. Go ahead. They they didn't really publicize the fact that he was not found not guilty of everything. Well, you know, cause that's, a, that's cause a lot of people didn't really believe that, you know, yeah. but, but my, but my thing is when, when you start seeing, and this is the thing that messed me up with the whole situations with all of this. It's cool. If you get one or two, maybe three situations of the same, but you got God dang near like 40 different celebrities hanging up here. Something's yes. wrong. Yeah, because, I mean, I looked at the names earlier. I mean, even Steven Seagal, man. Steven Seagal has been accused. Um, uh, of course, we know Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. He was accused. You know, I mean, some people, you know, you have, uh, let's see, uh, Jeremy Piven or Piven, Oliver Stone, Kevin Spacey. I mean, look at uh, it like this. Look at it like this. We yeah. not, There are some creeps in the world. We're not oh, going to we're not going to just act like there's no creeps. There are some creeps in the world. But at the same yep. time, some of the people that are being accused by this is just, it's so, it's, it's questionable. If you, okay, even, okay, go take it back to Russell Simmons, right? How many yeah. times we watch Run's House and you see, you get to, right. you get to kind of see certain things. And my thing is this, when you watch how that man runs his operation, you telling me he going to be that stupid to put himself in that type of situation? Come on, man. Right. On, but come. see here. But see, this is the other part on the flip side. Like, I've actually sat and talked with Russell. When I used to work for Chris, right? I worked for Chris. And I sat and I talked to Russell for like two and a half hours, man. You know, we were talking about a project and stuff. Chris was there. His assistant, Sagan, was there. You know, uh, Sagan Albert, she was there. We were all talking and having a great conversation. Now, one of the things that I know about Russell, just personally, like, really talking to him, just like how you and I are talking. This yeah. is probably the most straightforward cats that you will probably ever meet in your entire life. This, mm -hmm. this dude's balls so low to the ground. He speaks whatever he says. Mm -hmm. that, you know, whatever's in his heart, he speaks whatever's in his heart. And and literally, you see sparks coming off the ground because his balls hang so low from just saying whatever the hell's on his mind. He's oh. a very great shooter. You understand what I'm saying? He's ballsy. Yeah. I said balls. <laughs> you know? I said yeah. balls. We I can't, yeah. talk. I can't continue that conversation. But go ahead. <laughs> But, but you understand what I'm saying. Like, he, he's one of those type of cats where he speaks his mind. Yeah. And, and and he's a person of power. Now, that's not to say that behind closed doors, you know, right. you know, I don't know what happens behind closed doors. But if right. you see the type of people that that gravitate to this man, when I'm sitting in his office, 
you know, so many different beautiful women are coming by there. Celebrity women coming by, stopping by, bringing them lunch or stopping, stopping into. Let his me office. ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. Does he have to beg for any of them women to have sex with the ones that you saw walking by his office? None. Exactly. No. So you tell me. So you telling me. You telling me all these celebrities is finding these ones that they just gotta have it, and they forcing themselves on them. And the thing, and to be honest with you, and the, I, I think the only problem is. I don't believe that every woman has probably wanted to do certain things with these people, but there was a decision in that moment to where they said, you know what? I want this and right. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to get this. And right. I'm like, that. I'm not trying to pass judgment on all women saying that's the decisions that they made, but damn it. You're not about to tell me that most of the women didn't make that decision. Shit. I right. got a chance to sleep with him and I could get in the recording studio with him. You Anything. Damn right. What else right. do you want? <laughs> right. And then on top of that, I mean, think about it, man. You know, Russell, you know, he transferred from from New York to, to L.A. And he instantly got several put deals with, you know, for his movies and things like that for Deaf Pictures. He instantly had that Harvey Weinstein, you know, power because of his name and because his legacy and his history. Right. In the and I'm sorry, but if, if things like that really happen in somebody's life, you know, um, and they were this type of person, you know, Things would have come out a long time ago. He wouldn't mm -hmm. have a female assistant. Like, he has a female assistant who's like his best friend. Right. Female, you know? And she goes everywhere with him, and she brings her dog. Well, this is the thing. I don't, I don't want to continue to talk about him because, you know, it, it's just that, that's just an example just of certain kidding. things. Yeah. But, like, okay, so watch this. Like, I just remember even, like, when we used to go hang out at the clubs and my boy would get ready to do his show, right? So, yeah. you know, they give us our little passes. They say, you know, go go on and find some people, come up here, come chill on the stage with us or whatever. So, right. of course, all the girls, you know, they we going for the girls. We ain't, ain't none of the fellas, no guys coming up. So, of course, you right. know, we going out in the club. We looking at you. Hey, you want to come up? You want to kick it with us? Boom. We give them the passes. And everything is done. We head back to the mansion. We go and chill. Now, the funny right. thing is... The women is always down for that. Now, to be honest with you, and let's just be clear about this, that should send the wrong message when you just met a person and you going back to hang out at a mansion. Am I right? No, you're right. You know, it, well, it, it could be it it, it it could be looked at two two ways. Okay. If you hang out at two in the morning with some strangers that talk you don't it. know after the club. <laughs> Are you guys just going to talk and, and exchange ideas? Nightcap. <laughs> Nightcap. Like, come on, man. Somebody. You just say, hey, you just seen all this all these women screaming for him, and you right. thought you was gonna come back for a nightcap. And like I said, see, and I, I feel like there's so much like you and this is the thing, you gotta remove your personal feelings out of just, you know, this whole situation because really what we're trying to do tonight is give you a a, a clearer picture of the things that go right. on. It's like don't it's like the media is gonna always side for the women. That's just how it rolls. We ain't shit. Right. Woman call the cop and say, He hit me. We going to jail, goddammit. So I'm just saying, that's just how the shit play out. But you have to remove your personal feelings and really want to see it from another side. Because I was talking to even Tony last night, and I said, you know what? I don't see this no different than back in the day when a white woman would say, oh, the, the black guy uh, raped me because she got caught with yeah, the And then go to jail. Yeah, or the Emmett Till story. Look at what happened to him. Right. Emmett Till got accused, and he was beaten by and mutilated by the whole city just mm -hmm. off of an accusation. You know, right. and this was a little boy. But these know? situations are no different. Oh, I agree. I agree. It's, That's it's why no, I said, go ahead. No, it, 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 you're, I agree. It's, it's no different, you know, and then even still now, cause the, let's, 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 let's say the interesting twist here, okay. all of the powerful people who are in the music business or entertainment business or, you know, um, in top executives, even mm -hmm. a lot of this stuff has been going on. And I'm sure that if it's been going on in the industry and you have the power players like Oprah, who has a lot of power, there was right. something I saw earlier where she, you know, she gave her speech and it was a great speech, but for her to be as powerful as she is in the industry and know all these major players in the industry, uh -huh. if something like that was going on, you know, I'm sure she knew about it, but right. didn't say nothing. How mm -hmm. many of those? Oh, of course. Yeah. No, because now they have that new thing where it's like, oh, speak up or right. some type of movement now where they're wearing the little pins and stuff. Me now. too. Right. Or yeah. And so my thing is this is 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 if this has been going on for 40 years since we're going back to Bill Cosby 
or let's say it's been going on since the entertainment business started. Mm -hmm. Why are you just now outraged? Why well, it, okay, okay, and watch this. The way I look at this is the same way I look at like, because like I said, there are so many similar situations, like how um, college players get money, you know, sneak they they get money on the side from Baker all deal. these different things. And the funny thing is, it's like people act like, like it's 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 a shock, like it's so shocking when they hear, right. oh, the whole college was getting paid or there was somebody doing certain things. I'm gonna be honest with you, and let's be real. When you got these high power producers and they and it's like you think these women don't want to do what they can to get noticed or to and you see I know you've seen it. They yeah. come up with all type of either short Dude. shirts or they all in the face. And it's like Man. you know, we're not talking about we're not talking about no library chick, you know, she just got picked out of the out of the library and he said, Come here, I want you and we talking about a woman Man. that may be all in his face, throwing herself at him and my thing is, did you act like this because you didn't get something out of the deal? Like, did you? Right. Did he stop paying that, that, you? Did he stop that, kicking that, it with you? That's what it is. Because, like, when I was when I was when I was the president of Footage Films and and Silent Partner, Chris's company, right? Mm -hmm. I would go to type of events to represent. Because Chris, like, he doesn't go to any events at all. Like, mm -hmm. he literally stays in his room or at his office. He's always working. He doesn't do anything. So when I was working for him, you know, I would go to different events. Like, I, you know, Jamie Foxx's party after the BET Awards. Um, you know, just different, you know, events. Now, at those events, I'm getting introduced to people or whatever the case may be. And I'm married. I rock my wedding ring and everything. Mm -hmm. All that shit goes out the window. It don't matter. <laughs> All that shit goes it don't out matter. the window. <laughs> because and I and I I'm not gonna name any celebrities or anything like that or women that are you know they have their like dated you, you know what I'm saying else, brother you are something else no no hear me out hear me out mm, I'm gonna try hear, I'm gonna try hear me out I'm gonna try hear me out I'm gonna try <laughs> all I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say is this man is there are a lot of them that really don't care that you're, if you're married or whatever, that, you know, they're only as good as the last completed project. What was that? <laughs> 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 what was <that> <laughs> they're only as good as their last completed project. And so because they're only as good as their last completed project, they're yeah. trying to be real good with people. You know what I'm saying? Real good with the next come up and things like that, what you know? Nothing. I didn't let nothing go down. I ain't trying, trying to get no herpes. To I ain't trying to get no herpes or nothing. Just trying, trying to do. Trying to be extra chummy. Trying to be extra chummy and trying to be like I got phone numbers and all. man, I got so many phone numbers and stuff. It was crazy. Oh, let's go to lunch. I mean, oh, I'm staying at this hotel. You yeah. know, and it's like I'm not gonna go over here to this hotel to meet with you. And you, you know, you want me to go to your room for what? But no. see, but, 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 let's, but let's be real though. And it's not to knock them for it because in this industry, in that industry, it's a hustle. It, could be. it is. It is a hustle. And not to say everyone's like that. Everyone is right. not like that. Mm -hmm. Everyone is not like that. There are some bona fide women who have earned their way in this business and right. even fellows that have worked their way up, top executives, they've paid mm -hmm. their dues. But think about it this way. If there's a shortcut to gaining some type of favor for a role or yeah. for... Oh, some type of, you know, fame or some type of video shoot or mm -hmm. some type of, you know, EP so that they can be on a record, maybe as a background singer or whatever the case may be. They are trying to get discovered. And right. so a lot of a lot of the people that have been coming forward <clears throat> are people aspiring models and actresses. Right. A keyword, aspiring. Aspiring. You know, <laughs> aspiring. You know, the only thing, the only one that kind of tripped me out a little bit. And, and I'm still, I don't know, maybe you know uh, more of the story. Remember, did you hear the story when Terry Crews came out talking about somebody grabbed his booty or something like that, patting him on the butt? Nah. Yeah, he was on like a morning show and said that, you know, like somebody grabbed his butt. I mean, I got to hear from the, the listeners because we have a few listeners on. I, maybe they can correct me. But I think it was Terry Crews. I don't know if I want to hear that story. <laughs> yeah, he came forward. And, but here we go. This is a big muscle bound man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I want to hear you that know. story. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let's see. Tony said, when I was in the industry, I had to talk to my artists to not be a part of that couch club. See, that's true, Tony. You have to talk to him about that. Right. That's that's real. And see, that's the funny thing. Like, I'll go into in, into some detail, right? Mm-hmm. Growing up. Like, 
I mean, you know, you know, because you've known me for a long time, Chris. Mm -hmm. Growing up, Chris Stokes was like a big brother, like a father. You know, he's my daughter's god. He's my daughter Amina's god godfather, right? Mm -hmm. And and so, um, and some of the listeners they don't know that. But growing up, when I used to be a singer in my little group, yeah, I was in a boy band group, right? So in my group, what was they called? In sync. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we were called Second Soul. Come we on, had, man. What you uh, trying to say, man? We, yeah, so we, what was up? What was yeah, happening? So what I'm trying to say is this. Is Chris used to drive home with us about groupies. Mm -hmm. Don't do this. Don't catch no diseases. Don't have sex with girls. Don't sit there and do this. You don't want false accusations. And this was all before the whole Raz B and stuff came out. This was well, before. That's because it's just been going on. I mean, you know, you can't. But no, hear me out. Hear me mm -hmm. out. He was telling us all of this stuff to protect ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. But even not only just protect ourselves, he was like, man, you know, the way his personality is, is it's like, don't do anything. Save your, you know, save yourself for marriage. Like, you, you don't want to do that. That's dirty, random. You don't know what she got. That's the way Chris is, right? So mm -hmm. when the whole. You know, nobody's ever really heard the other side of the story when it came to, you know, all the false accusations from, you know, Raz B when it came to Chris sexually assaulting him. Right. Okay. See, the, the flip side of this is Chris had I've seen them with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. Chris has emails after emails after text message after text message, man, of 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 blackmail messages from his cousin mind you Raz B is Chris's cousin mm -hmm. he has message after message after message of 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 blackmail emails talking but about are, but you already know that's just what people do though well, no, I know that. Around with it. no I know that but some people will take that information they'll take an accusation and they'll run with it well that's what's happening that that's what we've been talking about all night man that's that's just I know but that's, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's fun. And the it's funny fun. thing is, it's men, it's men that are that are doing doing the same nasty stuff behind the closet too. They right. To become famous, and you you're starting to hear more about it. You know, as yeah. time is going by, you're starting to hear a lot of men that are saying, you know, they're asked to do certain weird acts and all that kind of stuff. And my thing is this, you know, if that's what you're doing, that's you. But you know, like I said, it's. I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's. I think people are just basically running with too many stories, and I want more people to get the benefit of the doubt versus just jumping right on it. You know, well, like you yeah, said, the Bill oh, Cosby thing. I didn't jump on that because I didn't want to believe that. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't jump on that. I'd like to be honest with you. I did not think that was something he could do because, for one, I love that show, and he loved kids. So, and not to say that oh, because he loved kids, you know, he could never do nothing like that. But the right. type of stuff that they're accusing him of, and you have so many women. I mean, you would think that he was broke having to try to hustle these women to give him some. Girl, right. man, look, that's a girl. He, yeah. Man, I'm just saying. He, he, yeah. Yeah, he won't. He didn't need to do all of that. Right. I, I'll be, I'll, and I'll tell you another one. Kobe. I never believe that he did that. And the reason why I said that is because... I've been, I've hung out with NBA players before, and I know how right. they be at the hotel, outside in the front. I yeah, know how they do some that. Some of them look for a scholarship. Some exactly. of them are looking for a scholarship, man. Mm -hmm. Real talk. They're looking for a scholarship. They're, you know, they're literally waiting after the game because even some of the the, the singing girls will try to wait for a ball player because their money is guaranteed. Yep, their money is guaranteed. Their contract is guaranteed next to baseball players. You know, now some of them don't get me wrong. Some dudes are into the conquest. Some dudes are into the conquest because you have some guys who are their their aggressors. So you know, you, yeah. you kind of know. Like, and and the evidence comes out. Like, look at the story with Trump, our president. You yeah. know, our president. It was it was like a big deal, right? You yeah. know, just grab him, grab grab him by the p. And there was actual documented <laughs> proof. Yeah. There was documented proof, Chris, that he's our president said that it was okay to ass assault a woman. Just grab him. When you got but money, see, you can do whatever you can do. That's his person. That's his like at the end of the day, it, it, it's not hard to see that that's something he would do. So some allegations came out about him, which I'm pretty sure will at some point if he hasn't paid them all off. It's, he probably paid them all off. And, and I would believe it. Well, you know the 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 whole there's the the case is still open. 
the case is still open regarding all the sexual allegations against Man, our he's president. Still president. That case is gonna go on forever. And he's still president. <laughs> and and they're still but but the, the Trump attorneys keep getting continuances over and over and over and over. And at that point, look, man, we got to thank our sponsors real quick because, of course, we've been going, you know, you and I, man, we'll, the conversation, it gets so good. And, and I'm already tripping because we're 30 minutes into the show already, man. You know, we got to thank right. Shades of And, um, you know, make sure you go over to the hottopicstalkradio.com website and, and take a look at our sponsors because if you mention Man to Man, Man to Man TV, or you mention Hot Topics Talk Radio um, to one of our sponsors, you'll get discount for products and also services. And so you want to check out Real World <clears throat> with our very own Reggie Kearney. Um, you also want to check out SPMG Media, you know, with Gina Johnson Smith. And of course, you want to check out, uh, you know, Shades of Africa and Ninth Island Culture Club. There's, there's a That's bunch of like, sponsors you know on that website so go over there and check it out also go over there and check out some of um our old shows that we've done in the past our old shows are actually on the blog talk radio where some of them are podcast and and things like that so you can find all that as well as um some of the other shows like hot <laughs> topics you know and, and chris you had fun on hot topics last night come on yeah. man. hey we had a ball last night we talked so much shit like yeah, I said, I have fun. Oh, I'm sure. You know, anytime I do a show with with Tony, like it's always dope because, you know, she's the voice. You know, she. Yeah. I know you over there. You over there had to get in with her. I know you're trying to get in good. It's all good, man. I'm yeah, it ain't good. I, come on, man. I, come I keep on. your job. I tell you like this. The next time you say her, the next time you talk to her, just say my name and see if she smile. I'm in. <laughs> or or hey, is man. she gonna start laughing? I, wait, okay. Is she gonna smile or start laughing? Which one is it? She gonna do both. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that, man. But so, the laughing ain't a bad thing. No, I just need you to. I need you to understand. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, man. So look, all I'm saying is, is over here on the Hot Topics Talk Radio. Uh, you know, we the network. We have so much fun, and all the shows are really, really good. So make sure you go over there to the Hot Topics Talk Radio dot com. You know, forward slash sponsors to look at the the sponsors, but then. Click around the site and go check out some of the shows, our past shows, some of the other shows, and everything like that. So I just had to do that real quick, man. You know, I know you uh, did, it, did that last part twice. You know what? I do it three times. Did you, hey, you go over to the hottopicstalkradio.com <laughs> website. Yeah, I do it three hey, times. No, but hey. watch this though. And, and you know one thing. You know one thing that I don't like though, and what what becomes bad because you ever been around like a celebrity. And it's not the celebrity that's bad. It's his people's that's bad, like his oh, friends. Man. And no, you very... see that a lot. But it's where... the friends want to be a celebrity. Yeah. And it's, it's like case... at the same time, they're super aggressive. They talking like they the ones performing and making the money. And those are yeah. that's when situations really get bad. And that's like, like even like with Tupac, when he ended up in that situation a, a few times, it's like... Yeah. It's the social group that you're hanging around, but you get associated just because that's your, you know, that's your your crew. And right. I think I think it's, it sucks because it's like, but at the same time, I guess you got to control your friends. But I mean, I don't, I don't know. But You've how been can in situations you, but hold on. like that? How can you control your friends? Like you can't yeah, control. You, tell them you can't roll if you what? acting stupid. Well, that's the only way you can control your friends by keeping them away. But I'm saying, like, if you guys are out having a good time and things like that, you can't tell another grown ass man, like, you go sit in the corner. You can't do that. No, you know it's, I mean? it's it's ways to do it. You tell them to chill. Like, you know, you try to you try to watch because at the end of the day, everybody know they boys. Everybody know which one is like what, and it's like you know, like you got to tell your people, like, hey, look, man, chill. When we get there, don't be pressing all hard. Like, we in here chilling, you know. Yeah. And I think sometimes. Oh, that's true. I think sometimes people don't do that because it was crazy. Like, look, so I went to a, um, and see, he became my people, so I ain't even about to say his name. But no. I went. I oh, went now you're doing it, huh? Now yeah, you do if you ain't gonna say it, I ain't gonna say it. These my That's people. Though, so at the end of the day, I got I got love for him. He's shout yeah, out you to can't him. Put nice, people man. on blast too much, man. You know, I understand. Well, you know, like I said, it's people's. So, anyways, <laughs> I you know he he had a show. We kicked it. We watched the whole show. Then he said, hey, let's roll back. He said, we're going to go back to my club. I mean, to my room. Mandalay Bay, we're going to chill, do our thing. And it was cool because it's like, I, okay, my, I told you my boy is like a celebrity, but it's like I never hung out with like a, like a, like, like a real, like a real celebrity that just like, you know, is known all over the world. So to yeah. hang out with him, it was pretty interesting because it's like, 
I just remember going to the club before we went back to the room and it was like talking, okay, so you come back, you come back. And we all jumped into some bands and then we went back to the room. So it was interesting because it's like you, you, we, we had like this little suite and the funny thing is I didn't even know they had stuff like this at, at the hotel. But anyway, oh, yeah. you know, that's above my pay grade. So anyways, <laughs> whatever. And it was crazy because I kept seeing people disappear and I was like, man, I thought it was more people in here. Come to find out, I'm like, my man, like, okay, you can go upstairs. And it's a, it was a security at the door, at the, you know, at the stairwell. So it's yeah. like he's sending people up and just basically not even people, females. So I'm like, man, like, I wonder where they going, like, you know. So after a while, like I said, I, I probably sent up at least like maybe five or six of them or whatever. And it was like they was just up there the whole night while he was chilling, having fun with the people down there. And it was just kind of interesting because I just couldn't believe, like, Chicks really just be like checking for you like that. Like, I mean, he chilling and they talking about, I thought you, I thought you said I was your girl. He like, yeah, you my girl too. And it's like, yeah. they just, they was yeah. on it like that. And to yeah. me, it was a trip because it was like, he had it like that. And then like, you yeah. know, the females would ask me, so how you know him? Or y'all cool like that? I'm like, yeah, you know. Got to give you some hey, action. Hey, hey, but watch this though. <laughs> This, 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 yeah. this the lion side of me on it. Yeah, that's been my boy for years, man. That's we go away. <laughs> Did you get a case of the Me Too's? I yeah. Hey, so watch this though. But the crazy thing is, just by me saying that right there, they like. So what you doing tomorrow? Or where you going tomorrow? Or what y'all doing tomorrow night? And it was like, I don't have to be nobody. Wow. It's just because I'm associated with him. That's how that yeah. went down. So the funny thing is, I'm thinking to myself, so. If a nobody compared to him, and I ain't nobody, I'm just telling you, like, as far as where I'm at in the world, next to I feel him, that. if I, I can get that kind of attention, and I don't even do nothing but go to work, <laughs> what you think <laughs> I go to my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, what you think he get? So that's why I said, man, it tripped me out. It make me mad when I see that some go down and men just get thrown under the bus right off rip. And I'm like, right. listen, the man make money. I'm more than likely not going to believe it right off the top because at the end of the day, I just don't understand why a man would have to do that. They say, well, he's not used to hearing no. Girl, he'll laugh at you after he say no. But like I said, that's my opinion. You mad about it? No, it is but it you're is. right. A lot of times, a lot of times, a lot of celebrities, at least the ones that I've come in contact with, um, you know, like some of the rappers and stuff, a lot of the dudes that you like all the actions on TV when they're extra hyphy. Like mm -hmm. I just saw too short at I just saw too short. That's why I was surprised that you you mentioned too short being accused of something. Right. Just this and week. I was I was shocked. I was shocked about that because me and my wife, we just saw, you know, too short at this premiere that we went to. Remember the movie premiere I was telling you about? Yeah. yeah. Like, and like, so about, about a month ago, right? Yeah, about a month ago. A bunch of celebrities was there. Too Short was there. I walked up to him, never met him. I'm a, I'm personally a fan. I'm a big mm -hmm. fan of Too Short, E-40. Like, that's that's what I listen to, right? I'm, I'm a right. big fan of So I walk up to him on some fan type shit. Like, yo, Short, what's up, Short Dog? Man, yo, I gotta meet you, man. You know, and I met him. Everything was cool and everything. And this dude was a very, like, quiet, soft-spoken Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, it's real cool to meet you. Thank you so much. Real yeah. off-spoken cat. Now, Snoop, he's the same way. Yeah, soft -spoken, he is. Real cool, laid back. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, Jamie Foxx, funny as hell. But if you talk to him on a one-on-one -on -one person, you know, one-on-one -on -one conversation, cool, laid back. Most of the entertainers that I've personally met have been cool, calm, laid back, smooth, chill. You right. know what I mean? And, and so it, to me, it doesn't, I mean, I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist or anything like that. And so I don't, and then I'm not a pedophile or I don't believe in, in like pushing myself on a woman. Right. You know, but if you got all this coming at you all the time mm -hmm. and you just feel like this, why do you, why would you need to be in a, why, why would you need to assault a million woman? dollar question? But my, but my the thing is this, but it's, it, it's not that we're trying to change anybody's opinion about any of these situations. Right. No, I, at the end of the day, that would be that would be insensitive. So we're not doing that. We're just trying to give you another side of it, because while right. the situations come out and you judge instantly, you're not knowing what really goes on when they're at certain things. 
You know, right. you don't know how long this person might have been trying to get his attention. You know, right. and you know, I don't, I don't know. That's that's just my stake on it. And that's why I really wanted to talk about it tonight because I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing men get dragged under the bus the moment yeah. a woman says something. I think, especially, yeah. especially from a celebrity side, I think that people need to also see it from our end, so that way it could be a little bit more fair. Yeah. Well, look at look at look at some of the new rappers like I, I call them new rappers because he's not like, you know, E-40 or Too Short or or anything like that. But, you know, problem, you know, yeah. the rapper problem when he had that hot song that was out uh, like what that, you know, all that he mm -hmm. was on a, on a song with Marcus. Right. So they were all at the video shoot and problem was there. And we had some video girls there at the video shoot and everything. And and problem <clears throat> literally when he was not working, he was he was chilling with you know, his manager punt, he was chilling with like, you know, that's his role manager. And then he was chilling with, uh, with Marcus and everything like that. Right. Or yeah. he would sit in the car because the cold part about it, there was like maybe 40 or 50 different girls there. Right. Right. And you know, I'm listening, I'm listening to what they're saying. You know, I'm going back and forth and just, you know, making sure different things is done and handled. And one girl was like, yeah, I'm trying to get into that car with, with, with problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get car with problem you know, like that. And then one of them came up to me and she was like, what do you do here? And I was like, I was like, I make sure you get your check. <laughs> oh, you just the person I was looking for. <laughs> right. I make sure you get your check. That's it. You know, yeah. and then she started talking to me, asking me questions. Oh, can I go over there and talk to problem and this and that? And I'm trying to be cool and smooth. Oh, no, you know, they over there doing their thing and rest. You just, you know, they're going to call you in a minute to go on to set and everything yeah. like that. Surprise when you look at the hunger, because I think if if people can revert back to understanding that people do things with motives, mm -hmm. that people do things with with intentions, if people mm -hmm. really remember that part when these accusations come out to try to understand the mindset of the quote unquote accusers, you would mm -hmm. realize a lot of them are on the come up. A lot yeah. of them are on the come up because no celebrity wants this shit to go to the news. No celebrity wants this shit to go to the, the courts. Even an accusation needs to go away because it taints right. their career. Mm -hmm. Even accusation. So, you know, it's easier if, if somebody is accused of something and they say, well, just give me 150000 and it goes away. Right. And to be honest right. with you, a lot of times that does happen because they just don't want the headache. It's like, either right. way, if this uh, kind of stuff comes out, regardless if it's true or not, it's damaging. Right. And that's right. what sucks it, because it's like you lose regardless. You know, one of the things that tripped me out was, um, you know, they pulled Bill Cosby's show. But who was it that had the same, had a, what, race, racial comments? And he, oh, Seinfeld. And yeah, still got the, his show still was showing. And it's yeah. just crazy. That's why I say I, when you were talking about how he was getting ready to buy NBC or whatever, or part of it or whatever, it's just kind of crazy how it's almost like there was an intention to just destroy his career. Almost Definitely. wipe him off the almost wipe everything <laughs> off the face of the earth he's ever done. Hey, look at the dad. Remember that TV show, uh Seventh Heaven? Yeah. I never Back watched it, but I remember the name of it. Yeah, seventh Heaven. It was kind of like the 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 white version of of you know of the Cosby Show in a way. the The dad was a preacher. He was a minister, right? Mm -hmm. Now the dad, he I forgot his name, but he he's a big time actor or whatever in the sitcom. He was accused and then admitted to like porn and pedophile and you know messing with kids and all this other type of stuff. I got to talk about that too. The funny thing is, you never even heard. About it on the news he there was videotape audio tape of mm -hmm. him coming out admitting this he was admitting this but look i don't even know the dude's name that's how much it was put in the news mm -hmm. it wasn't even put in the news <laughs> i think tmz was the only one that reported it i mean and, and i will say that race does play a factor in some of it too well i don't know but right now, the big one after right now White. It's, a lot, it's a lot of high power. It's a lot of high power Caucasian actors, yeah. and producers that are getting slammed. And I'm sorry for y'all because you know what? And, and I say I'm sorry for you because at the end of the day, you having that big title is what's getting I, you in trouble. I honestly, see, in my opinion, I when know. I start seeing all of these coming out at once, I don't believe it. Period. I, I think what's happening, honestly, man, and, and maybe we can dive a little bit deeper if you want to. 
because you know you know about the whole Illuminati thing and you know the that the might be too deep. That might, be, that might be too deep, man. We only, well, got 15, we only got 15 minutes. But see, I wouldn't look, I would be doing myself a huge disservice if I didn't mention it. The Illuminati is real. And understand that a lot of the things that go on in the industry, it's shit that's been going on for years that mm -hmm. probably documented and everything like that for blackmail reasons for uh you know and so a lot of times because people are trying to tap into a certain spirit mm -hmm. in that entertainment they're trying to tap into that spirit man and so in tapping into that spirit there are certain rituals that go on there are certain things that go on man behind these closed doors and behind these big parties and these movies but you know games. people don't believe that though but right? it's well people cannot believe it if they want to i'm only stating my truth on what i know you don't you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. people you know People have been talking about it forever, you know, but I'm just saying now all of a sudden, all these accusations are coming out and we're talking about Brett Ratner. We're talking about Harvey Weinstein. We're talking about Michael Douglas. You know, we're talking about a lot of like majority of the, the A-list celebrities mm -hmm. are on the list. A-list celebrities and A-list executives are on this list. Some of the most powerful people in the media world and in the, you know, movie world, you know, um, uh, are, are being accused. And some of them, it's documented to where, you know, they have the video, <laughs> the audio evidence. So I'm yeah. just telling you, a lot of this stuff, it's like, it's almost like God is coming through the, the, the music and film and entertainment industry and just cleansing all the bullshit that's been up in there. Well, and I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I, 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 I do think that, you know, as people are in their careers, they begin to do or have that kind of that cockiness to where they feel like they can do whatever they want. Even I now, you know, I can't think of the producer's name right now. Uh, the big, the one that, the first one that just actually got accused. Um, Harvey Weinstein? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't even think of his name right now. Yeah. But the thing is, can I believe that he would, you know, maybe tell women or let me do this? I can believe that. But then watch this right here. You're looking at people that have been around this industry for so long, and it almost right. has become a part of like the culture. Like, okay, so, oh, you want to be in this movie? Well, come, come to my uh, my trailer no, later no. on, and let's talk about this. And, and don't yep. get me wrong, I'm not I'm not saying that that's okay, but what I'm telling you is that's what's been going on for years. And yeah. guess what? Women knew it too. And guess what? When they went into these situations, they kind of knew. This is more than likely going to happen. And what do you think they did? What do you think they did? And look where their careers went. And it's sad, but what did we talk about earlier? It's all about the hustle. So they're doing what they right. need to do. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, it's crazy because I'm, I'm telling you, you know, it, it, it exists. It exists. Okay. Like you can get people will sit there and talk about, you know, I can take your career to the next level if you sign the contract. You know, mm -hmm. you get problems for so many different things uh -huh. you know the the good old boys club you know the girls club you know that all that shit is real man i'm telling you <laughs> hey you know, hold on you, little... missed, you missed that did you see what tony was talking tony was talking about no i didn't see it so tony what was I... talking about you know just even being in her position like she's had she's had people promising her stuff and it made it made me laugh because that used yeah. to be the game right there where you would hang out. Like if you, if you were, you would act like you were somebody and then you right. know, like, yeah, girl, you hang with me. Yeah. You could be in the next movie or you could be in the next. Right. You know? And that's what people <laughs> do. And they, and look, and girls giving it up quickly. And it's like, yeah. like I said, key word, they giving it up. Dude, but man, you know, it happens. dude, when I was, I remember when I was like 19, no, I was like 18, 19, right? Mm -hmm. I was on tour. I was on tour with Immature when they were on their plight, the screen tour and everything, right? I was singing background and all that type of stuff before our group came out. And I remember, dude, just the the level at 19 years old, the level of of <laughs> women that came after, man. Like, yeah. It was stupid. It was stupid. So they exist, man. It was stupid how many women were like, I was a background singer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like a background singer. The light didn't even really hit me too much on stage. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you didn't have to have your foot on stage. As long as you knew him, you could have got some. <laughs> right. Or or matter of fact, remember remember the, the, the Taste of Soul thing when I was uh, singing yeah. with Market 
and uh, and Stevie and all that. Remember when that happened? Yeah. You know, mom was there, and uh, and Anjali was there, and my kids were there. Mm-hmm. And dog, even at that moment, man, being a background singer in the back, like just chilling, singing with them or whatever, like there were some things that I heard in my ear in that moment, you know. Yeah. And I'm, and so I'm saying, at the end of the day, oh wait, hold on, see Tony. Uh, people don't want to work for success. They want the quick come up. That's true. That's true. They right. want the quick. But that's the name. But that's the name of the game now. And, it's, and that's actually that been that's actually been the name of the game. Everything is instant. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, I think I think nowadays it's a little bit more easier because, like I said, you can prom- you can promote yourself easily with social media now. Whereas back right. then you couldn't do that. So it was all about timing. The right labels, the right place at the right time. You have at least. Labels won't even sign you if you got a record deal or if you got a if you're a rapper or a singer or whatever, they mm-hmm. have to make sure that your social media campaign is on point before oh, they'll yeah. even you have to have a certain they need, amount of followers. <laughs> yeah, you have to have a certain amount of followers, you know, or even certain like if you're a new up and coming actor, you have mm-hmm. to have a certain amount of followers. Mm-hmm. You know, you can have a great look and everything, but you still your social media has to be on point. Yeah. You know, and yeah, people are always looking for the quick come up, man. So my, thing, so my thing is when talking about this, because you know it's people that's offended. You know there's there oh, sure. women that are very offended and feel like we're being insensitive and they need you to don't write know a letter. what women go through and you know all that they stuff. And, write a letter know, to and, and my thing and my thing is this it's not it's not to knock any of this stuff, like the Me Too, you know, groups and all that kind of stuff. It's not to knock it, but my thing is this. You're being made a fool of because you have some people that are really just taking advantage of the situation. And like I said, it makes it hard for the world to really sympathize when you have too many cases coming out every single week. It's another one. It's another one. It's another one. After a while, it's just like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, 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 same thing old boy did. And it's like, it's not even really looked at as something serious. Yeah, and this, and that's the sad part right there because what happens to that young girl, who who literally goes into an audition, you know, who um, has paid all her dues, she used her little paycheck to get, you know, her media, you know, her little press kit together, her her photo shoots and everything, and she's going to like her first few auditions trying to get that job, mm-hmm. you know, but she's drugged and you know she's assaulted, mm-hmm. and then she, comes out. you know, she comes out immediately. Her story loses credibility. Yeah. And so I'm not saying people need to be quiet about this. By oh, no means. No. I'm not saying people need to be quiet, but how much of how much of that is bullshit? Especially the ones that wait 30 years, 20 years, 10 years. Why didn't you say something because you were so hurt when it happened? Yeah. Why didn't you say something then? You know, the <laughs> one you know, you know that one actor. He talked about Harvey Weinstein. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's that dude's name that was in Lost Boys and he used to hang out with Michael Jackson and um, he was. And a I child. know, I know who you're talking about. I don't know, I don't know people's names. Like I, f- that. I forgot his name. He hung out with Michael Jackson, right? And he 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 never ever spoke anything negative about Michael, mm-hmm. but he, you know he came out. I, dang, I wish I knew his name. But he was talking for years, like for years within his career, because mm-hmm. he was black. In the business because they wanted to do a, a Lost Boys 2 and he was like the star of Lost Boys. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't casted for the second uh, Lost Boys mm-hmm. because a top executive, you know, ran that career. Well, and, I, and that's co- funny that you said that. Black Boys. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. and, and, and Black- it, 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 well, it's good that you brought that up because that also further explains why certain females do certain things because they yeah. worry about that. Yeah, they do. People, entertainers, period, worry about being blackballed, uh-huh. especially when you have the top executives. You know, you got to remember, you know, Russell is friends with Harvey, who's friends with such and such, who's friends uh-huh. with this, and who's friends with Oprah, who's friends with Tyler, who's friends with, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. They're all, it's, yeah it's connected. Right. So for everybody to be outraged all of a sudden, this shit's been going on. Yeah. But my point, my point is this. He was one of the first celebrities years ago that when it was going on, he went to go get psychiatric help because he dove into drug abuse. So he he demonstrated the 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 uh, the traits of someone that was sexually uh, uh, abused or assaulted. Mm-hmm. He lost 
he checked out of reality for a while. You know, um, I wish I could remember his name, but he, he checked out of reality, went into rehab, got his life together, you know, somewhat or whatever, then looks like Michael Jackson now. What? But, <laughs> yeah. but well, because his music is kind of crazy. Yeah, Corey Feldman. There you go, Emerald. Thank you. Like, she came through and saved you. <laughs> yeah, she knew. Yeah, Emerald. Cor so Corey Feldman, you know, he for years he was talking about being sexually abused and assaulted, but he said, I can't say the name. And then finally, when Harvey Weinstein's name came out, he right. went back on, I think, The View and was talking about it, you know, where he was like, that's who I was talking about, you know, because but I couldn't say who this man was back then because these are like, High, super high powered people. But let me you ask know? you a question. But let me ask you a question though. So, is your career more important than your feelings? Because my thing is this: some, to some I'm, people, I'm like this. If you was more worried about your career, then don't expect me to feel sorry for you some years down the line. Because there's a gang of girls that got that had to do a lot and didn't get shit out the deal. Trust me. No, I, I totally agree with that. And see, that's the issue that we that I'm having mm -hmm. is. For all of these people to come out so many years later mm -hmm. with these crazy accusations, mm -hmm. you know, when you didn't go through the same thing that a Corey Feldman went through, you kept showing up to the, to the set, you know, ready to perform mm -hmm. over it and ready to move on. But now all of a sudden, since it's a hot topic and maybe your fame is kind of dwindling a little bit, you need a little bit more relevance. So mm -hmm. let me drop on the sex accusation, you know, uh, 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 train and start accusing them, too. I mean, man, and see, that's why this show, man, I'm telling you, we got we got a couple minutes left, man. This is a hell of a topic, dude, because low key, low key like this. This this is crazy, Chris. We we can go on and talk about this topic for another hour, man. I mean, my, but, I mean, it, but and we really didn't get to touch on too much because, you know, there are so many stories that we can just tell within our own personal lives of things that we've seen and, you yeah. know, heard. And, you know, like I said, it's. It's not so, it's not something new, and you know, like I said, we're, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna discredit, um, you know, and say that the men don't do certain things too, because you you know you touched on something earlier when you were talking about yeah, you know, there's a girl that you know maybe come in and she's you know she's trying to make it and she's getting hit on. They're not even taking her serious because they're more focused on how good she looks. So it's yep. like she can't even be taken serious. So it's almost like she has to do something different. Or she has to maybe act in a manner to be noticed so that way they can actually maybe hear her out or see what she actually has to offer outside of just her looks. And that's, well, that's part of it. It sucks. But see, one thing that I know that stays tried and true, man, if you have a faith in God and you have a belief system and you stay well grounded and and you just you just, you know, stay where in your lane on what you're supposed to do, you're definitely gonna come up. If that's God's plan for you, oh what's up, Dan what's up, Dean? That must be your boy Dean or something. Yeah, that's my boy. Shout what's out that's to him. We supposed to hang out soon, man. Vegas, man, you supposed to hit me up. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. Yeah, so at the end of the day, man, if you if you just stay true true to who you are, you know, at the end of the day, if something did happen to you, then something happened to you and you you know but don't wait 40 years to say something about it. Look, That's all it's, I'm it's gonna sound insensitive, but I'm gonna just say it like it is. Come out. Say what you gotta say. Don't wait <laughs> years. Yeah. Come out. It's bullshit. Yes, they, I don't like yeah. it. And and like I said, this is just my opinion. It's it's hard for me to wanna believe and sympathize and if you let this right. go on for years right. and it's like this is this would happen in ninety in nineteen ninety two. This happened in two thousand seventeen, and you talking about the man did it to me for all these years, and I'm just now feeling comfortable to say, it. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna believe him, man. You know, I'm, and it's, so it's let, hard. Let, it, it's hard to believe. Like years later, man, it's just like like even when man, we can go into this forever, man. But we right. gotta wrap this, dude. We gotta wrap this up because this shit is can crazy. I, can I say my last thing then? Hey, go ahead and say your last thing. I just want to make sure that y'all know it's not trying to be insensitive to the situations. You just need to actually look at it for what it is. If 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 you were dealing with another situation that had nothing to do with sexual allegations, but somebody came out some years yes. later and said something, you would find it suspicious too. So all I'm saying is don't be so quick to judge because you hear something and it just, oh, it has to be true because 
actually take the time to look at both sides of it and allow everything to play out. Because like I said, the things that's going on right now is horrible. They're destroying the industry and destroying a lot of people's families and homes. So I agree. No, that, that's just all I got to say about that. No, and, and that's good because and it's the truth. You know, you have several people. I love that final thought, man, because you have several people. I think uh, Russell did a smart move and he just, you know, he didn't want to destroy his brand. So immediately when the um, accusations came, whether they were true or not true, he just resigned and stepped down from his company. And it's whack. It's whack. But it was a smart move. This man has a brand, you know, Mm -hmm. and so he, he stepped away from it. And, and things like that so he could still you know the block was hot see he, see Russell's smart the block was hot let me let me bounce right. <laughs> let me go to the Cayman Islands or something for a little while you know yeah but, he got that money he got that money he's straight yeah you <laughs> but know, like well, I said he, it's his reputation that I'm that, well, that's it, whack well it's whack because it destroys a legacy and there are people who who have that hunger for fame they have that hunger for um you know to try to for money or whatever the case may be and and they try to get in and try to get in where they fit in you don't even have to be a celebrity you know you yeah. can just be a regular good dude that people just don't like you you know because you're a regular good dude and that but goes to close it out man you look you about to go into yeah, a whole other topic. I didn't you off, so women stop oh, lying hold on Hold on. Listen, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that you could be a regular good dude. Just protect yourself because you never know what you might come up against. Somebody yeah. wants what you have and they'll do anything, you know, to try to destroy you or take you away from whoever you're with. But that's my final thought. You've been watching Man to Man TV with Richard Hall and Chris Smith. We'll see you next week. We're going to come back with another live topic. You guys share this post. Share this Eric. video. Comments on the page. Man to man with the number two man TV. Oh, man, man, number two man TV. Go over there and like the page. We love y'all. We'll see y'all next week. All right. It's been real. Appreciate y'all. Good night, y'all. Have a good night.